Today we're going to retrofit a 2000 series style grinder pump with a new motor controller board assembly. As you can see I've already pressure tested and removed the control cover for this so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and remove the old control bracket like we normally would. Okay, now that we've removed the control bracket, we'll just need to do a little bit of prep before we can install the new motor controller board assembly. I'm going to go ahead and remove this gasket and clean the uh, machine surface area so when I put it back together with a new gasket, i got a nice clean surface there. I'm going to reuse these two wires, the red and purple one, off of the on-off switch. They don't need anything on the end, so they're good. I'm going to have to change this terminal. This is the red start wire that goes to the capacitor. Anytime we pull the terminal off and we're going to reuse that wire, we recommend that you replace that terminal. I'll need to add a flag terminal to the blue motor wire. The yellow and gray motor wires will no longer need these connectors, so I'll clip them off and I'll strip those wires back just a little bit. The orange motor wire, which is for 120 volt use, is not in use for this pump since we're looking at a 240 volt pump and I'm just going to put a little butt splice on that to terminate that wire and the black motor wire will no longer need the butt splice so I'll clip that off and strip that wire back as well. So let's get started shall we? In order to install the new motor controller board assembly into an older 2000 series style pump we're going to need the following service kit this is service kit 1300, which consists of an additional red wire with a spade connector, two three-wire lever nuts, an adapter plate, and two retaining clips. So this is a relatively easy process. We'll just dump those off there. For now, we're going to line up the post on the adapter plate with the holes on the MCB. We'll grab our two retaining clips and we'll set them on top of the posts and I just find it easiest to use a 5 16 deep well socket to press those two clips down onto those posts to secure the MCB to the adapter plate and we end up with this assembly right here. So once we get this ready we can now go ahead and install this into the pump. Okay now that the casting has been cleaned and the wires have all been prepped and the adapter plate has been attached to the MCB. We'll go ahead and install the assembly into the pump casting here. And we'll wire it up. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this two wire lever nut off of this brown wire and I'm going to replace it with one of the three wire lever nuts that came in our service kit. So I'm going to put the brown wire in there, push the lever down, lock it, give it a little tug. I'm going to grab this red pump cable wire and stick it into one of the positions there, lock it down, give it a tug, and then I'll grab the red wire coming off the on-off switch and insert it into the third location here. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the other three wire lever nut that came in our kit, and I'll take this purple wire off the on-off switch and insert it into one of the positions here. And I'll take the red wire that came in our service kit, and I'll slide it in here like that. Once again, push it down, give it a little tug. And then I'm going to grab the black pump cable wire and put it into the third position here. So again, locking it down, giving it a little tug. So I'll take this terminal that's on that three position lever nut and I will terminate it right down here on the common terminal of the relay on the MCB. Okay, I can go ahead and grab my red start winding wire here and put it to the start capacitor and grab the black lever nut here and just get a little bit of room there install the black motor wire and the white pump cable wire into this one okay now I've got three wires left here I've got the blue motor wire which I'm going to land in the normally open terminal on the relay of the MCB now I've got the gray and yellow motor wires, which I'll terminate in the same color wire that's coming off the MCB, the gray to the gray. And give it a little tug, and the yellow to the yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just check all these connections one last time. Make sure everything's good and snug and secure. Okay. 
And at this point, I would recommend that you go ahead, plug it into your test panel and bump it. Make sure that it runs normally and everything's connected properly. Then you can go ahead and replace your seal, put your cover back on, and pressure test the compartment. That concludes retrofitting a 2000 series pump to a new MCB 240 volt 60 hertz motor controller board assembly.